All right, we're going to do a hit Pilates workout today, just on the legs. Um, so for any of you who have any wrist problems, this will be really good because we're not doing any press-ups or burpees or anything onto the wrists. Um, and for those of you who want to work your legs a little bit harder today, then fantastic. So five different exercises. And for those of you who haven't done hit Pilates before, um, we're going to do the high intensity exercise. And then we're going to do the Pilates exercise in between to just draw in your core um, and work on that specific area that you need for the hit exercise so hopefully you've done a warm-up if you haven't pause it and find on my channel my hit pilates warm-up or go out for a little jog or something just to warm up your muscles and your joints ready to go so the first exercise that we're going to um, be doing here is one of my favorites and if you do my classes then you'll know <laughs> so we're going to be jumping out hands down and then arms out to the side hands down and arms out to the side. What I really want you to concentrate on is turning your legs out, turning your knees out, and your bum goes straight down and your head and your chest stay up. That's gonna really work those inner thighs. All right, so it's gonna be 30 seconds, um, and then we're gonna go down onto the mat for some shoulder bridges in between to activate our glutes. All right, so three, two, one, off we go, down and out. So it's 30 seconds of this, bouncing in, it's a little touch in, the arms push straight out to the side, knees and toes out, squeeze your bum as you come in. Good, we're nearly halfway. Good, head and chest up, knees and toes out each time. All right, 10 seconds to go. Keep breathing. Good, knees and toes out, sink your bottom down, three, two, one, fantastic. Down onto the mat, as I promised, shoulder bridges, 30 seconds. Heels close in towards your bum. Tucking under, curling up. Stretch your fingertips down towards your toes. Tucking up, curling up, one vertebra at a time. Push your knees away and curl down. So this is your time to activate the correct muscles, glutes. Draw in your tummy and to relax your breathing. So breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. We'll get in just a couple more. Sorry, legs heavy, like I say, this workout. So be prepared for a bit of thigh burn. Okay. All right. So second one of these exercises. We're going to go all the way around, around to the top with the arms this time. So onto the floor, all the way around to the top as we come up. Off we go. Touch and round, all right. Knees out, toes out, head up, chest up. Good, really working those inner thighs. You might not notice it now, but you'll notice afterwards, trust me. Halfway. Good. Nice and light on the bounce as the legs come in. 10 seconds to go. Good. Draw in your tummy. And last one. Good stuff. Down onto the mat, shoulder bridges again. Heels in towards your bottom. Tucking under, curling up. Pushing your knees away. Fingertips stretch down towards your toes. Remember to relax your breathing on this section. In through your nose. Out through your mouth, sorry. Puffing out into the microphone. Good. Last two. Good, and one more. Good stuff, coming back up again. All right, so last one of these, the arms are going to go straight up to the front this time. Tapping the floor here and straight up to the front. And off we go, down and straight up. Good, bottom down, chest up, head up. Knees out, toes out. Breathing. Good. We are halfway. I never know whether that halfway one is a good one. <laughs> whether you want to know. Good. Three more. Two. Three. Brilliant. So that's one set of exercises down. It's three high intensity, and it's just the two Pilates in between. So grab yourself a drink. Have a little drink in between each one. Good to stay dehydrated. Good to 
stay hydrated <laughs> for these exercises. We're going to do some squat jumps. So the only thing about these squat jumps that might be a little bit different, we're going to be going side to side. So imagine a line. We're going to throw the arms down. Each time, throw the arms down as you jump, like so. I'm not demonstrating very many more. <laughs> All right, so 30 seconds. Knees forward, toes forward, ready to throw the arms down. And off we go. Throw the arms down as you jump. Squeezy bum. Drive up off the legs. Good. If you can't get this whole throwing the arms down thing, don't worry. I'd rather you were jumping, getting the work in, rather than worrying too much about where the arms are going. The good thing about throwing the arms down, three, two, one. Ah, oh, the suspense. OK, we're going to be on our fronts here. And you're going to be lifting and lowering alternate legs. I have quite got enough room. <laughs> Lift and lower alternate legs. Just shuffle up that way a bit. <laughs> Good stuff. So 30 seconds of this. Suck your bottom under. And your tummy in. Forehead down on the mat. Opposite arm and leg. Again, activating these glutes. All the high intensity exercises are very quad heavy. And if you don't use your glutes, that can lead to knee problems and back problems. Okay. So, coming back up again. And we are going to do another set of those squat jumps. I'm going to finish off that sentence at some point. <laughs> okay. Three, two, one. Off we go. Jump. Good. So... Throwing those arms down, throwing the arms down, gives you some height. Driving up through the legs, using the quads. Good. Push and get that height, landing strong, knees and toes together. Brilliant. Good. And three, two, one. It goes nice and fast, this one. We're just going to concentrate on the legs this time. So just have your hands folded over underneath your forehead, lifting up one leg at a time. Good. So for 30 seconds there, just lifting one leg at a time. Relax that breathing. Tucking your bottom under. Relax down the shoulders. Have those abs engaged. Good. And three, two, one, brilliant. Okay, we're coming up again. Really concentrate on getting that height on these squat jumps, okay? Side to side, knees forward, toes forward, using the glutes, throwing those arms down. Okay, three, two, one, off we go. Driving up, throw those arms down, driving up through the legs, drawing in the tummy. Good. Pushing the arms down, try not to push them back. Pushing them down so you get that height. Brilliant. Driving through the legs. Getting some hang time in the air. Speed it up if you want to. Slow it down if you want to. Three, two, last one. Brilliant. So grab that drink. Staying hydrated. Like I say, is the key. Okay. All right, so we're going to be lunging. Can't have a hit workout without any lunges. <laughs> Hands are going to be on the head. Elbows are going to be dropped down. And then we're stepping forwards into that lunge. I want you to drive off that front leg, pushing up off that front leg and using the back leg. A little bit as you push up, squeeze your bum and draw yourself back up. So using all of those thigh muscles. I'll do a few to the front and a few to the side. All right. Three, two, one. Off we go. Hands on the head. Pushing off that front leg. Driving off. Again, go at your own speed on these. I just find slowing them down just a little bit helps to keep the control. And to keep the core, 
working. Ribs down, shoulders down, driving off that front leg. Good, landing on the heel. Heel and push off. Heel and push off. Last two and stop. All right, because we're dealing with one leg out at a time, we're going to do these dead bugs in between. So your arms are straight up in front of you. Your legs are up one at a time. And you're stretching one out and the other one up above the head. Pull the toes up. That will help with your leg placement on your lunges. Good stuff. Keep your breathing relaxed. Keep those ribs dropped down. Keep breathing. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Oxygenate those muscles. Or oxygenate the blood, anyway. That travels to the muscles. Three, two, one. Fantastic. All right, so lunges again. Hands behind your head, remembering to drive off that front leg. So three, two, one. Off we go. Hands behind the head. Step and drive off. Good. I'm doing them on the mat here, so it doesn't matter if that knee collides with the floor just slightly, but try not to. I think it's probably the best thing anyway. Protect your knees. Drive off that front leg, land on the heel, and push off. Keep those shoulders down. Chest open. Three. Two, last one. Fantastic, dead bugs. All right. Arms up in the air, drop the shoulders, pull the shoulders down away from the ears, one leg up at a time, pull the toes up, draw in the tummy. Here we go, 30 seconds of these. Relaxing that breathing. Drawing in your tummy. Draw the ribs down at the front. It's the ribs that want to pop up while you're doing this. And keeping that little arch in the back. Good. And three, two, one. Brilliant. Bring those knees in. Quick stretch. And come back up again. So we have the last set of lunges. Hands on your head. And three, two, one. One, and off we go. Pushing, driving up off that front leg, keeping the foot and ankle strong. Pulling up on that back leg. Making sure you're not lunging forwards into it. I'm not going to hurt my knees by doing it. It's the back knee that heads down towards the floor. Drawing yourself up each time. On that back leg, drawing in your tummy. Good. Three. Two, and last one. Brilliant, so that's three exercises down. Two to go. All right, so we're gonna do a bit more of a dynamic one on this next one, so fast feet. Absolutely hate it, and love it at the same time. Really, really good for you. So we're just gonna be up on the toes, and just running really fast up on your toes. I quite often have this one right at the beginning, so we can get it out of the way. But I'm afraid 30 seconds seems really fast, uh, really slow, sorry, seems to drag. <laughs> but I'm going to start the timer in a second. So three, two, one, off we go, fast feet. Leaning forward slightly, up on the toes, pumping the arms, dropping the shoulders. Keep that core strong. Good. <laughs> Keep breathing halfway. Dropping those shoulders, using the arms, up on the toes. Not many more things I can say about this. Five seconds to go, though. Four, three, two, one. Brilliant. All right, so there's nothing to do in between other than Pilates scissors. So we're tucking the chin, dropping the ribs, scooping in through the tummy, legs up one at a time. Toes pointed for this one, really. Tapping the toes down, tap and lift, tap and lift. Keep drawing in through here. Relax that breathing. 
shoulders away from the ears, tuck the chin. This is the bit that you work on that posture that we all want. Beautiful posture. Really good for getting the breaths in. Good. And this should be the relatively restful bit. Like I say, oxygenating that blood by breathing in, breathing out all the toxins. <laughs> Brilliant. All right, coming back up again. So we're going to do fast for five seconds, even faster for five seconds. Gives you just something else to focus on other than how long this 30 seconds is. So I shall tell you when. Three, two, one, off we go, fast. Three, two, one, even faster. Five, four, three, two, one, ease off. Four, three, two, one, even faster. Four, three, two, one, ease off a little. Three, two, one, and go. Four, three, two, one. Brilliant. All right, down to the scissors again. On your back, legs up one at a time, ribs down, tapping the toes down, chin tucked. Relax that breathing. You can't see here, but I've got a lovely skylight above me, um, which hopefully is lighting the video for you. But also, there's a nice blue sky today. So that's very nice to look at. Hope you've all got something nice to look at. <laughs> okay, three, two, one. Brilliant. Coming back up again. All right. We're going to go narrow and wide with the feet. So five seconds narrow, five seconds wide, five seconds narrow again. And we're nearly done. One set of exercises after this. Three, two, one. Narrow to start with. Five, four, three, two, one. Wide, four, three, two, one. Narrow again. Three, two, one. Wide again. Three, two, one, narrow again. Four, three, two, one, wide again. Four, three, two, one, fantastic. All right, so that is the last of your fourth exercise. Exercise number five here. So um, we're going to do, I was going to do another lunging one, but. That might be a little bit too much. We've already done some lunges. Um, so here we go. Step back and hop, back and hop. So we're not actually going back into a backwards lunge here and then coming up and hopping. Something maybe you want to do if you're an athlete. But for us mere mortals here, it's a step back and a push up and a hop. All right. Three, two, one. Step back and hop. Brilliant. Step Step, hop, driving up through that one leg. We're going to do 30 seconds on one leg, 30 seconds on the other leg, and then 15 on each for the last one. Good. 10 seconds to go. Three, two, last one. Fantastic. All right, we're going to come down onto our sides here. The leg you have just used, I would like you to come onto your side, tuck the bottom hip back, and we're going to do a glute med exercise. That's gluteus medius, that's here, and it stabilizes your hips. So fantastic for this exercise to do, to get that hip and pelvis stability. Okay, three more. Good work. All right, so next exercise, other leg. You should know which one you've done. Um, and three, two, one, step back and hop. The arms are like running arms, as you can see. And swinging that forwards helps you to swing the knee forwards. Good. Staying strong on that standing leg. Just a tap backwards and a hop. 
pushing up, driving up each time. And three, two, last one. Brilliant. That side up. Okay, onto your side for your clams. Bottom hip tucked back. Lifting that top knee, scooping through your lower tummy. Remembering to relax your breathing. Good. Don't rock that top hip back. Good, you should be feeling it in here, not down into the leg. If you've got any concerns about these clam exercises, there's plenty of butt workouts on the channel. So if you're feeling it elsewhere, then tap into one of those workouts and it'll teach you how to do it. Okay, Ooh, enough of that. Chatting away, we have 15 seconds on each leg. Doesn't matter which leg you start with. Okay, off we go. Hop, good. Tap back and hop. Draw in your tummy. Stay up tall. Drive up on the hop. Try and get a little bit of height. Two more. Brilliant, swap legs seamlessly, see that? Good, driving up. Brilliant, three, two, one. Ooh, good stuff. All right, well done. So that's your five exercises with your Pilates exercises in between. A um, little bit of hit. Fat burning. Um, I'm going to make you stretch now. It's a lot of quads work, so picking one leg up, bottom under, sending that knee down towards the floor, scooping your tummy in, shoulders back, chin tucked, any excuse to think about posture. And if it transfers out into your workouts, then that just means if you're working out in good posture, you get mus better muscle development in the right areas, of course, which we all like. Swap sides. And it encourages you to hold that good posture at the time. So send your knee down, or the knee a little bit bent. Chest open, ribs down, chin tucked. Good. Lovely. So the inner thighs always get me. Toes out, knees out, squat down into it, push out with your elbows. Good. And that just nicely stretches those inner thighs or adductors, which is my nemesis muscle. It's always an issue. Just shows you can do as much of this good stuff as you like, but you will still have an area that you need to work on. So stretching your bottom up there. Relax your shoulders, relax your head. Give your knees a little wobble if you want. Good, jump your feet together. Bend and straighten each knee, a little bit more hamstring there. Good. Excellent work, curling up. All right, so there you go. There's your leg workout with hits. Make sure you give it a quick like if you liked the workout. Give me a comment in the comment box, anything I could improve, anything you particularly liked. And um, definitely subscribe to the channel, please.